Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Love for Intuitive Astrology. My name is Michelle and today I will talk about the month of April 2022 for the sign of Virgo. So I always recommend you to watch this video if you have sun, your moon or your rising sign in Virgo, okay? Keep in mind, this is, of course, a general reading. So if you would like to have a private reading with me, you'll find my email in the description box below. So Virgo, what's going on for you? I mean, fellow Virgos, for me, life has been crazy. <laughs> Pisces season has been crazy. So many good things. I feel super blessed. Like things just keep coming my way. I'm like, okay, bring it on. Like. Go with the flow, let it happen, and uh, super busy. But, you know, I needed like three full days of sleep. I was getting like almost sick, so many things that I'm completely back to myself and so ready to talk about the month of April for you. So we have a new moon in Aries on the 1st of April, okay? And this is happening in your eighth house. So... You know, we had Chiron for quite some time in areas and on a global level, people are really feeling that, you know, uncomfortable feeling of stepping into their true identity, their true self. And for you especially, this is related to your true self when it comes to intimacy. Like a lot of you Virgos struggle to open up and to really be vulnerable with someone. Okay. Um, so... We have the sun and the moon uh, conjuncting Chiron and also Mercury conjuncting Chiron. So actually some of your Virgos are going to do like a, a session with someone. This could be therapy. This could be a tarot reader, astrology reader, doesn't matter. Or you're diving into your own pains of uh, intimacy problems. Okay. So, um, it's about these uncomfortable feelings, but they're going to be revealed to you, right? At the same time, this is not a time to lo to give loans to someone, to loan money to anyone right now. And this is also not a great time to do any kind of joint ventures or shared bank accounts, right? Some of you Virgos have to deal with some papers or you have to deal with some kind of situation where you have to organize your money together with your partner maybe because some of you just recently got married okay so make sure that you get all the papers in order because we do have jupiter and neptune still in your seventh house and this is really romantic right a lot of you feel romantic you want to commit to someone someone wants to commit to you um maybe you want to work together with someone on a creative um venture maybe you're starting something really beautiful uh a new business you know and uh, we do have saturn and mars and venus in your sixth house so there's going to be sorry virgo a lot of dedication to work so more work might come in you feel like you need to work uh quite a bit right saturn there for a while they has been saying hey uh, work on your routines work on your health work maybe you got more responsibility at work right uh, maybe you uh, bought a new animal and you have to take responsibility for that so it's really important to stay healthy i know diet is easy for you but still you know maybe you overindulged a little bit too much i certainly had a few too many wines lately uh, i've been enjoying life and you know my body was saying hey that's too much take it easy take some sleep you know so right now it's about getting back into the routine um and getting back to you but a lot of uh, uncomfortable feelings might come up when it comes to vulnerability how vulnerable can you be with yourself how honest can you be with yourself and there might be some shadow uncomfortable feelings coming up okay but, you know, it's all for personal growth, Virgo. <laughs> then on the 16th of April, we have a full moon in the sign of Libra. And this is really good because Libra is in your second house of money. Um, so 
don't overspend i feel you might receive quite some money for like it could be an outside source or just you're earning more money but it's squaring pluto in the fifth house so you might overspend it on fun stuff <laughs> so yeah very busy uh, definitely we have Venus also going to Pisces and it's sextiling Uranus in the ninth house. Maybe someone from a distance uh, is, is texting you, meeting you, you're going on a trip and you're meeting someone new. There could be a higher level of commitment. You know, maybe you are in this, like with Pluto during the fifth house, you were into some spicy situation, but it's going to be like next level. Um, but also it is about making your hobby, your job, right? And the funny thing is that, you know, for me, I've been working on, for example, astrology and I'm working on websites and I made this hobby, my job. And, you know, a lot of you Virgos have been on the same path. We have, yeah, Mercury conjunct Uranus, sextiling Venus in the seventh house. Hello love from a distance some of you get married signing a contract to get married maybe getting married abroad taking your partner on a beautiful trip uh to you know i don't know where you want to go taking it on a beautiful trip uh but you want to work out you're gonna like feel like you have a lot of energy and you want to like get out there and just enjoy it's gonna be great yep uh it could be that some of you are leaving some work behind and changing jobs signing a contract for a new job maybe you have a break in between okay um but you're kind of on fire and you're knowing your worth so you're not gonna ask too little money because Virgo, this is a problem that's been happening for a lot of Virgos. You're so nice and you wanna help others and be there for others, but hey, you need to ask for what you deserve, right? So stand up for yourself. Um, learn how to ask for more money. Yeah, what did I say? Look at that. Ace of Wands manifests ask for it to create money so either your creations you receive a lot more money there's gonna be something major when it comes to work okay don't be scared like virgus you're in the flow things are going um promotion new job a lot of things okay romance definitely on the cards it's a death it's an ending and a new beginning yes and you're not seeing it coming <laughs> you cannot control anything especially with this pisces energy let it flow let it go and i know virgo you want to control things and you want to have things in order but this is not the season even with aries aries is very impulsive it's like hey let's whatever <laughs> you know i'm gonna do whatever i want it's a refreshing energy yeah king of wands yeah, it's like about having fun, getting out there, but watch your money, okay? Don't overspend. Don't overspend your money on really fun stuff or big investments, you know? Spend your money wisely right now, okay? Don't be too, too enthusiastic. Let me get you some angel cards. By the end of the month, actually, we're getting... Uh, Pluto is going retrograde again uh, in your fifth house, so... Again, this could be related to children. This could be like, you know, really revising your power when it comes to, uh, because Capricorn rules 10th house. So this is also related to work, but this is also related to your creative expression. So don't hold back on creative expression, on romance, you know, maybe some of you, because Capricorn is really holding back, holding back in creative expression, holding back in, you know, being romantic. And then we have Chiron in the eighth house. It's like, I'm not sharing what I'm really feeling. It is hard for me. Ooh. Okay, we're having quite some cards. Wise decision. So Virgo, whatever it is that you want to decide, that you have decided and you've been doubting, this is the answer to your question. 
you will feel internally what it means uh, for you, but it's a wise decision. So let me know in the comments what you were thinking about Virgo that you feel like is a wise decision. Also, believe in love. So some of you have been hearing like, oh, it's a romantic time and it's just not working out. I mean, it's a combination of your sun sign, your sun and your moon, okay? But at the same time, believe in love. Like Pisces is dreamy. This is why it's a really good opposite to Virgo. You're very like factual, very, uh, but at the same time, you're more intuitive than you think because Virgo are tuning into people and see how you can serve them. <laughs> so it's a very underrated, earthy, intuitive sign. Believe in love. Believe in love. Yeah. There's a lot of healing taking place. So be optimistic. Stay optimistic. Take enough rest. Things are super overwhelming. You're super busy doing a lot of things, a lot of work, a lot of romance, maybe even a trip. Keep your head up high. <laughs> Don't burn out, literally. Watch your health, okay? Go to a doctor if you don't feel super good. Work out, take care of yourself, and you're gonna be absolutely fine, Virgo. I really, really appreciate you. Um, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. You help me out as well, so I make, you know, more videos for you more support, um, you know, my lovely fellow Virgos. And also I do private readings. So if you want to know more about your private situation, what is going on, uh, write me an email that you find in the description box below with all the details about private readings. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you. All the best during the month of April. Bye-bye.